putting a UPC on your tag. When you want to print it out a point of sale, you'll have a UPC barcode on it. It'll be great. Hey folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. And today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, we're going to talk about how to put a UPC barcode and number on your tag. It's going to be so great. Some people don't want that item number on their tag, so they want the UPC code instead. First, I'm going to mention that you should jump on over to Facebook by clicking the link below and join our QuickBooks Point of Sale Insiders group, QuickBooks Point of Sale Knowledge, where you can ask questions and talk about errors and get help pretty much all for free. It's going to be wonderful. All right, hit subscribe below if you're on YouTube, and here we go. On the file menu, I'm going to Tools and Print Designer. This is going to be a quick and easy video. We're switching over to Inventory Tags. And let's see, in my printer right now, I have hang tags. So here's a hang tag. I'm going to recommend that you make a copy and leave the original unadulterated. Here we have the hang tag template copy. I'm going to get rid of some of the things that I don't care about just to make some room. Let's see, I'm going to get rid of these. I'm going to move these all up, stretch out the name maybe, make it a little longer. All right, sorry, that pet peeves, you know, I, I like everything to look nice and good. But here we have a barcode, which is the item number. You can see right on the screen there, it says barcode item number. And down here, we actually have the item number. If you don't know what the item number is, every time you create an item in QuickBooks Point of Sale, it just assigns a new number to it. Uh, right off the bat, it's kind of like an index number. But some people don't want to go by their item numbers when they're identifying their products. They would rather go by the UPC code. So I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to delete that. And we are going to go on the add men menu right here, little down arrow. I'm going to choose data field or group of fields. And you may have noticed in the last few years, in the last few versions of QuickBooks Point of Sale, that we seem to have a lot more choices in this screen. And right here, I'm going to add a barcode for the UPC number. This is for using the UPC field. I'm also going to mention some very important pieces of information after we edit this. Otherwise, it's not going to work out very correctly. I'm going to stretch this barcode so that the barcode scanner can definitely pick it up. I feel like the size that it makes it automatically is very narrow. And some barcode scanners have a hard time picking up such a uh, narrow barcode. So if you stretch it out a little bit, it just makes it easier for your scanner to pick up so now we have the upc barcode and i'm also going to add another data field which is the actual upc number <clears throat> i'm gonna hit ok on that i'm gonna bring this right down here so it's underneath there you're gonna see that that's overlaid so i'm gonna double click on it for some reason it's left justified i am going to right justify it and I'm also going to make a, a label. I go UPC and maybe a colon. All right. So down here is what this field is going to look like. UPC colon and then the actual number. And just so, because that's kind of wide, I'm going to move this puppy up there. All right. I like that. You can move these around until they look wonderful however you feel like it i'm gonna hit save i'm gonna name this um upc hang tag all right hit okay hit close it's gonna ask if we want to make it default template sure why not if you use it a lot that's what you're going to want to do now the caveats i'm going to my item list here Oop, thought it was all right, I'm going to my item list. And where is it? UPC field. You can see that I really don't have very many UPCs at all. So 
my example is going to be the Exploding Kittens board game because I really don't have any other UPCs. If you don't know, UPCs are not like an automatic thing. They're not magic. When you are creating items, you're going to want to scan the barcode that's on your product into the UPC field. If that's not there, then uh, I believe the the tag is going to come out without a barcode and without the UPC number on it. It's just going to be kind of blank there because the field is empty. But we're choosing the one that does have the field. I'm going to hit print tags. Uh, that was set as default here, so I got the hang tag. And I'm going to print like four of these. You can do it, little buddy. All right. Like I said... It's a little scrunched together. You might want to reformulate your tag and kind of like where everything is there. That one's kind of ugly, but you get the idea. You can add the UPC to your tag and then when you are making a sale, whoa, I got my barcode scanner here. It scans the UPC right off the tag and there you have it. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business. I hope you have yourself a great day. Bye-bye now.